All right. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good start of the day or middle of the day, depending on where you are or night. <laughs> anyway. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let's see who do we have here. Schmidtkopter, hello. Good to see you always. Ready for some drawings. Anyway, so we have um, this was our last stream, which was kind of a little bit Halloween related. This time, I don't have a idea for uh, for the November challenge maybe that's something we can talk about this stream but just to have something going on the background I was thinking for a simple challenge out of mm, three steps okay so first step is I'm, I'm thinking we're always drawing houses or characters or animals most of the time it's something along those lines so I was thinking maybe it's time to draw a vehicle or like a transport of some sorts and it could be anything it could be transport like it it could be fantasy transport it could be real transport it could be something from science fiction and to make it more challenging and potentially more fun I thought maybe we can pick a random object so pick a random object and then uh, draw the transport or like the vehicle out of the shape of the object I saw an Instagram account that, that does that a lot and it was pretty cool and then I will link to that account when I find it again because I completely lost it, tried to find it before the stream. So the idea is basically I will I will show you with maybe like a pencil sketch of some sorts. Give me a second. Hey, we have more people joining. Welcome to the stream, guys. So, the idea is that you pick an object, let's say, I don't know, let's say this uh, pencil sharpener. You place it somehow, and then, like, you draw it the way you see it. I don't know, maybe, like, from my point of view, it looks like um, just a cylinder with a groove on top like this something like that and then the two holes and the groove goes down as you can see here on the side just goes all the way down yeah so we have kind of like a rough shape of of the pencil sharpener right and then they turn um, this shape into into an object of some sort, so like a different object. Like this time, we're gonna do the um, vehicle, the transport. So it could be like I don't know. Maybe we can. Uh, I don't know. Like it. It could have some wheels. It could have some. I don't know. Maybe we. Just add some wheels on the side, just to see how it goes. I think that Instagram account that I was talking about, um, they try to not add anything if they just use the shape of the object, but we're taking it um, less seriously, I think. I don't know, maybe like a, a little chair for, for the person to sit there or something like that. And could be powered by some steam engine so you would add some I don't know like uh, different gears or stuff like that here and maybe these holes are become exhaust pipes you know something along those lines maybe maybe wings yeah like could be could be anything 
basically the idea is just to take an object draw it which is a good practice for hand and then transform it into something completely different so you pick a random object you draw the object and then you transform it into into a vehicle of some sorts and it could be anything it could be fantasy sci-fi whatever so what do you think shall we try that and in the meantime we can think if we want to have some extra challenge for november yeah <laughs> like this that's that's a very strange looking vacuum i used to have a vacuum cleaner as well but it broke anyway so first of all let's pick an object i think that might be a little tricky i found this um bottle cap for uh, whatever it's called for oils and vinegars i think and it's kind of weird shape and it has this this flap on the top with it which i think might be fun to to have on the vehicle so yeah the, i think this this would be will be my object for today but i'm really curious what you guys will pick up will it be something round or square it's it's kind of hard to pick an object actually because all the objects you see around usually seem kind of too usual but the tricky part is to then transform it into something completely different I think I will use my knitted razor to keep it in place because yeah exactly we're on the same page mosk also welcome to the stream <laughs> good morning <laughs> yeah that, it should be fine right it, it works we need our mascot here as well okay so i think i will draw this this one and then transform it into some sort of vehicle and i don't know yet if it's going to be a sci-fi uh, vehicle or fantasy transport i usually tend to draw more fantasy stuff but we'll see All right, I think I'll draw with the blue pencil today, just because. And I usually tend to draw really small, which is not a good thing, and I'm trying to fight it. So let's draw this time a little bigger. You can also play yeah it could be a sci-fi thing it could be like a tunnel for for little ch for little spaceships but i'm trying to find like a fun angle to draw it so it doesn't look like just a side view so let's say actually this is too horizontal let's let's do it this way which which objects did you pick if if somebody's drawing over there did you 
happen to find a good object for for the exercise this is a very short pencil as well but oh well so this I'm trying to measure everything in my head a little bit so I'm thinking like this part is kind of like half of of the whole thing and if this is the whole thing this would be kind of roughly half and then this will be this part and I think maybe part of the exercise is to actually try to draw this thing quite precisely Yeah, yeah, like you can you can turn anything into anything. With super recognizable objects it might be even more fun because it's well somebody everybody is used to. That gives the properties of something completely different. Good punch, helicopter. And there is this part here. I'm not trying to draw like precisely just yet. I'm kind of just roughly trying to guess the proportions and where everything lands. So this is kind of three times the size of this thickness or maybe a little bit less and it's actually if you look at it it's offset so it's not in the center of this disc here which needs to be addressed as well the problem with the blue pencil is that it's not really erasable that well there's this there is a hole here there is some rubber part on this side it's kind of funny to me that whenever i draw something the first few minutes or <laughs> hours <laughs> it looks like it's just not gonna work out like this this is terrible i don't like how it turns out i want to stop but the important part is that you don't stop and keep doing and refining and eventually it will turn out into something Maybe. <laughs> Just need to keep pushing. And then there is this pointy thing. This one. I wonder why they need this part. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to see, maybe. Is it really hard to see on the stream as well? I wonder if I can actually change that. Where is it? Um, or is there a contrast filter somewhere? Yes, but... oh, okay, the computer will be there. Let's see. So I can inc 
increase the brightness a little bit and then the concrete. Does it help a little bit? I hope it does. Anyway. Okay, go. Yeah, black makes better contrast for sure. I just can't find my pencil for some reason. I didn't know where it went. Anyway, so we have like a couple of bigger ridges here, like two bigger ones. And one a little smaller and one even smaller. This generally looks like a mess for now, which I I'm completely fine with. Because we will keep refining it and eventually it will turn into something. All right. So we have the rough shape and I do want to refine it before going into the design stage. Regarding the November challenge, I talked with a couple of viewers regard regarding that and I'm not sure it's like it's a good idea to have another challenge after Inktober because a lot of people were kind of stressed by Inktober because you have to post or draw or both every day and that's like it takes some dedication and actually I congratulate everybody who managed to finish Inktober I think I at the end of the day I actually drew every day but that didn't post every day. That's the problem. Um, yeah, so I was thinking there is another challenge for November. It's called uh, Slowember. Yeah, it's called Slowember, and it's from one of the other guys. Um, they basically one of the friends of Jake Parker who created Inktober, and. The idea is that during the whole month of November, you're you're not trying to draw every day something new. You're working on one piece. So the idea is that you're taking it slow. You're like doing all the proper parts of the design process. You're doing like thumbnails and you're doing some. I don't know, silhouettes and everything, and then you're doing the refinement and slowly, slowly, you're just building your best piece of art that you can produce. Like the, I like the idea that it's just taking your time. You don't have to produce 30 illustrations in 30 days. You just need to produce one, just make sure that it's done and finished. And I think it's pretty cool uh, as an idea to to actually push yourself into um, doing something and finishing and actually not just sketching but trying to make it like sort of like a portfolio piece, you know. And that might be a cool idea, but on the other hand like with this streaming, it's a little tough to make these kind of calls because, well, there are a lot of, there are some people who come here regularly, there are some people who join randomly, who can't join every time or something like that, and then for them it will be kind of weird if, if we're drawing 
the same thing and they skip one stream then they can't really join back in or at least it's gonna be harder for them so i'm not sure about that one even though i like it maybe i will do it for myself not on the stream Did you guys have any thoughts regarding the no November challenge or do you think we had enough challenges for now? Let's just chill and draw on Sundays and, and see how it goes. Chill and draw, okay. Yeah, I, I agree. I enjoy the chill and draw as well, but I was just wondering if maybe we should do some bigger projects. But also a bunch of random projects sometimes What was I saying? Hmm, doesn't matter. <laughs> I completely lost my thought. Uh, cool. Are you... Are you gonna draw and chill, Musk, or just chill? I completely messed that up. Like, this... This part is... Jesus. Yeah, now this is a little bit more accurate. Although it doesn't look accurate, it looks really amazing. Oh, also, also, the fun part about... Not, actually not really fun. The annoying part about ellipses is that they kind of have to draw them through unless you're Peter Hahn or like some or I don't know Scott Robertson uh-huh mostly chill okay that sounds like a good idea so it's a kind of detox November for you get rid of all the stuff you need to do and try to prioritize your time that's a good plan i think you of all people kind of need that with the amount of stuff you have on your plate all the time That looks roughly like, like this, which, I mean, it does look wobbly and a little bit uneven, but kind of more or less. In the right direction. So now, basically we we have we have a base base shape now we need to turn it into a vehicle of some sorts and i think this one really does look like a like a sci-fi vehicle maybe i will actually draw it in i wonder if i try to draw it in red like the the imaginary parts let's see how is it going on your side do you did you make any progress any sketches 
If you did, don't forget to share them in our Telegram channel. We have a Telegram discussion group. Where you can post your art. And during the stream, we can I can show it on the stream. We can we can talk about it. Yeah, so when this thing opens you can see the insides. Oh, PlayStation 4 can help you relax this, true. But maybe you just need to buy games that I have and we can play them together. <laughs> Do you see the red? Yeah, you do see the red on the stream. So this will be like a tunnel for little spaceships. Oh yeah, they about the ellipses, I'm not sure I finished my thought. You have to draw them like through, you have to draw them whole. Otherwise, they lose the like. If if you're having the size of of an object and then you draw this part without drawing it through, often it like, it has the angle here which it actually shouldn't have. And if you draw this this stuff through the uh, the ellipse, you can connect them smoothly, and then it does look like a cylinder more than like a weird thing you know cup of coffee is also a good start So this, I think, this is the main part of the ship. So there might be, this This is probably like a, maybe energy generator. So we can have maybe from the center of this ellipse, we can have some, let's do it this way actually. From the center of the ellipse we can have some like solar panels or something like that here it's actually fun to design some science fiction stuff because we mostly do fantasy here on this channel at least so maybe stuff like some just kind of some generic science fiction textures of solar panels and stuff like that, I don't know. It's a little bit random, but... Also, we need... I think we need some scale so people can understand how massive this thing is. And for that, we will add a few ships coming out of here and maybe they will be like little little spaceships that will help help you understand the scale this is kind of like a fighter jet from star wars you know Yeah. 
So now, theoretically, you can imagine that this thing is huge. And this, this is a hangar, so these ships, which turned out to be, I think, a little too big. Uh, these ships are located in here, so you just park them there. And maybe this stuff can, can rotate. So it always, like the, the gravity is always on the walls. So when you look inside of this, you have ships standing like all over the place. And because it's rotating, they keep standing on the walls. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe they're just far away. You're right. But let's assume that they're on th in the same space as, as this giant thing. We need some windows, I think. Maybe just mark them like this first. And what help what really helps to define the shape if you're defining like if you're designing something on on a cylinder, you know. Like if you have if it's let's say this is a building and and you know how skyscrapers have this window separations so if you want to it to look more three-dimensional then obviously when you're looking at it from the side it looks just like lines right but um the closer it gets to the sides the smaller the space between the lines will be so actually it will be like kind of like this and you should do the same with um, with the cylinder so if you don't have a reference although you should always have a reference yeah so you see in like this if you do it like that it looks more three-dimensional rather than having it be all the same distance from each other you know because perspective and everything you know Science. All right, I'm kind of stuck here actually. <laughs> Not doing anything. Okay, let's have more windows in this this one. Maybe there is one of the parts is like a, um some sort of generator, maybe a hadron collider. I don't know. Can Hadron Collider generate something? Not sure. Could be that there are some, um, I don't know, antennas sticking out. Maybe, maybe like a stabilizer or something like that. Yeah, it's kind of making a little bit more sense now. Maybe there are some more layers here of construction. This could be, I don't know, some ribbed panels. I, I have no idea how spaceships are working. Let's actually do a quick, super quick, tiny little Pinterest uh, dive into spaceship. Just to see 
to get a little bit inspired. I mean, this is obviously all sci-fi. So, oh yeah, this I think this is the guy who does. Maybe not. But yeah, this this is what I mean. Like he takes just a random object and does a spaceship out of it. And like sometimes it's the um, Illuminati. Oh. Yeah, you know, like he took the ice cream scooper and turned it into a moon base or something like that, or like a cannon. And like turning watch into a house. Yeah, or, or three Racha rocket. So yeah, I will I will tag this guy in in the Instagram post where I will post this stuff. But for now, I was just wondering maybe there are some spaceship parts that we can get inspired by. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't remember his name exactly. I will uh what's wait. Eric Geos Geosh maybe Eric G E U S Z That's the guy Yeah so let's see Plasma Hey, what did you say? Plasma engines. I didn't know where they would be actually, because this is all solar panel now. This is a hole for, for them to escape, so it's kinda... I don't know, it's hard to find the place, but I will add some extra layers of stuff here just for more visual interest just break the long shaft a little bit since you have a cup of coffee schmelicopter does it mean you're gonna draw a cup of coffee and turn it into something There is also this little hole here, if you, I don't know if you can see. Which might be a connector of some sort. That's a good question. I, I kind of forgot what's, what's the English word for it. Just wasting time. <laughs> Didn't know. Maybe there could be some more uh, like hmm. yeah okay illuminators like the windows we have them but we need like a a cockpit for for the driver maybe it's this part so this part will be a cockpit with you know, usually they have these huge windows on the in the front of a spaceship. You know, when you go into a spaceship, you usually have these big windows there. No big deal. Yeah, like 
I, I sincerely forgot how to how to say uh, to peach in English. Like it's not really wasting time. It's not being stuck. It's something completely different. Um, what else? What else do we need? Hmm, space goose. True. Let's, let's tag him all together. <laughs> space goose. Yeah. Go check check him out. He's really cool. So we have some, maybe some wings here, some, maybe there is like a s extra solar panel sticking out here, something like that. Okay, who is excited for for space by the way i'm really curious how to like how people react to all these potential possibilities of going to mars and all that do you think that's like an exciting thing or do you think it's too far in the future so it doesn't can not gonna affect our lives that much so it doesn't matter really Do you know if, if I would like to go to to Mars? I think yes. When the space travel is affordable enough. It would be really interesting. Me neither. Um I think I'm more of a fantasy uh, like I'm, I'm more into fantasy than in sci-fi, but yeah, it's sometimes it's fun to get out of what you're used to drawing and draw something new. Plus, this shape kind of suggested the space part because I don't know. This is. Like this thing looks very spaceshipy to me straight away, so couldn't resist, sorry. But initially I wanted to draw like a, a fantasy card of some sort, or maybe like a air balloon or something, you know. If this goes well, we can draw something different in the similar style next time maybe also some random object turned into something completely different just adding some more or less random shapes to it just to have some visual interest here and there Trying also not to break the shape with completely different um, forms. Because it's, I don't know, it's kind of tough to keep it all three dimensional. And maybe there is like a, a big antenna sticking out in the middle. Maybe it's a cannon. that maybe a couple of more mirrors on this one 
I feel like this this part maybe is a cargo bay, so you wouldn't have so many illuminators there because you don't really need it. I'm actually thinking that maybe in general on a spaceship you don't need illuminators because when you're in space, if you're not near a planet, you probably don't see much because space is mostly empty. Just maybe adding some extra platforms here and there, or like some connectors and some, you know, ventilation shafts. Some pipes sticking out, some, I don't know. I, I really enjoy the designing process, especially of imagine, imaginative stuff, like the stuff that you draw from your head mostly. Because you can go wild and there is kind of like no right or wrong way to do it. Yes, maybe in some cases, if you're drawing a spaceship and, or like if you're drawing I don't know, a house, and you forget to draw windows. Maybe it's, it's a problem for the people who live there. But maybe it's just your design choice. Like, since it's your art, you don't have to do anything. Like, you, you don't owe it to anyone to, to make it realistic, you know. as well I don't know this antenna doesn't look like an antenna let's add some meat to it kind of needs to have some thing here I think to balance the form always trying to think about the shape as a whole and if it's missing some stuff and sometimes it seems like it does This, this part looks a little weird, like it doesn't seem like it's connected to anything. Although it should be. All right. Now we have more or less our sketch in place. I kind of like that it's blue and red at the same time. Looks a little bit like those um, you know, 3D movies where you need to wear glasses. Maybe there are some extra windows, maybe some like openings so you can get out of the spaceship and check if everything is going well or repair some stuff. Maybe some pipings doesn't have any engines but it could be pushed by um, by sails you know there are these space sails like if you have a little really tiny spaceship and give him huge solar wings they pick up the 
basically the sun shines doesn't matter what it shines like it shines some stuff that's getting picked up by these sails so a little ship can actually travel through space because there is no friction because there is no air or um yeah it's it's in a vacuum so you don't have friction so even a small like even just the energy of sun or stars can push the spaceship through the space which i find really crazy let's let's have a door of some sorts here i feel like this place needs to be more accessible Also, there are some voices that advocate for having some Christmas related stuff. Where where do you guys stand on this? Shall we shall we have like a I don't know, Christmas postcard stream where we all design postcards for <laughs> for our friends and families for Christmas? might be a little weird might be fun yeah I also thought so we will have um, let me check the schedule but um, the the calendar, but I think in December Yeah, we have the 22nd of December is a Sunday, so like we can just have a stream on the 22nd and Draw some Christmas related stuff there Like it. I, I don't think it's Christmas enough. It's it's kind of annoying, or not really annoying, I understand why they do it, it just seems a little stupid that um, the supermarkets start selling Christmas related stuff every day, every year, earlier and earlier, and you know, like, sometimes they start already in the summer, or in September or October, and it's kind of, I don't know, to me I think it ruins the feeling a little bit, because you look forward to Christmas and holidays and New Year and all that. And you know that it's gonna come soon-ish or like in a few months, but you're, you're not in the mood yet. You're not in the this holiday spirit because it's warm outside and everything and you don't want to think about it. You want to enjoy the last few days of fall and um, or summer or whatnot. And then you go into a supermarket and then it's like, oh, it's already Christmas. I have to panic and freak out and think about presents and what to do for Christmas and where to go, holidays, vacation, everything, you know. I feel like this is kind of ruining the spirit of Christmas for me a little bit. Not ruining, but... I feel like we all would be better off if they would start selling Christmas decorations in December. Oh, the Halloween is a buffer for Christmas, you say? Yeah, I can I can see that. I think in the United States they all ha also have uh, Thanksgiving, which is a big celebration. So that's also a good buffer for them but I don't know I feel like the marketing teams are overdoing it a little bit okay 
think we have most of, of the sketch done. I want to do the uh, pen version of this thing. Okay, well, I want to go over it with a pen before the stream ends. Let's see if I can actually pull this off. I was thinking about having a platform like a balcony, but then balcony wouldn't really make sense. We bought a bottle of Yulmus yesterday already. What's a... Oh, it's a Swedish Christmas drink. Yul... Yulmust? Yulmust. Never heard of it. I only heard of... What is it? called glo g grog no eggnog yeah that's the one uh you know maybe some another hole here another like connections of some sorts i don't know this is like a completely random spaceship design i bet you won't be able to build it so don't take this as a blueprint for your future spaceship. You almost. Swedish Christmas drink. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's getting weird with the, I guess with the temperature changes as well when you're used to having Christmas and uh, having some what is it called snow that's the word snow for Christmas nowadays it's kind of just rainy and slushy a lot of times which is really disappointing And then people say there is no climate change. So weird. Yeah, maybe there are some parts sticking out like this. I don't know why. I'm not a spaceship designer myself. Yule is Christmas for Yule? Hmm. <laughs> Not true. I think Bremen is more to the south from, from Leiden. Not sure though. Yeah, maybe maybe I should move to Sweden to drink Yule Moose and have snow for Christmas. Or Norway, I wouldn't mind Norway as well. I haven't been there yet though. I think before you relocate somewhere you should at least visit the country. some more pipes here what do you think the more pipes the better just some stuff sticking out all right let me take a picture of that and then I will go into the what is it called? The 
ink pen phase. And I don't know if I want to use my trusty tumble pen because it's pretty good. The tricky part to me at least is to always start with the foreground so the stuff that is closer to you you draw first so you don't have to like wobble around it if you start from the background but when you start with the foreground it's sometimes kind of tricky to to see what's the foreground but we'll we'll try Maybe I should switch to the other camera just for fun. Yeah, that looks that looks good. I hope it's in focus. See, I, I start drawing this circle, but then it goes behind, so it's not in the foreground anymore. So what do I do? Do I stop here? Switch to this shaft? You know, it's it always was annoying to me to kind of think about this kind of stuff. Now it makes starts to make sense. Some sort of antennas here as well, maybe. I also think a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of uh, sci-fi drawings can benefit from having a ruler nearby because I don't know the, if you draw sci-fi stuff with a ruler, it just looks more kind of as if an engineer drew it or like designed it. So it seems more Sci Sciency? You know what I mean? How's the progress so far on your side? Did you draw the coffee cup or are you still uh, in the rabbit hole of Instagram? That's probably for Schmelicopter, but curious to know how is it going over there in general, guys. Let's add some illuminators. Some additional elements, maybe. Some of the stuff is a little bit sticking out, so there, there will be like a groove next to the edge. Something like these. I don't know. Catching something, that's that's great. That's the start. It all starts with sketching something and then you get inspired and go wild there. Thing. 
I switched the music to be um, just one album because the rest of the music annoyed me too much. And this one is, <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, the album is kind of okay, just this a little bit jazzy hip hop thing. But since it's only one album, I think it repeats two or three times during the stream. And I hope it doesn't bother you too much, guys. <laughs> All these copyrights and all the other rights basically and stuff you have to consider while streaming something publicly really pain in the butt especially on youtube on i think on twitch they're a little bit uh, like they have different policy and they don't moderate it that well or that much at least sometimes they do but on youtube it's it's a real pain in the behinds although it's like yeah if if you stream stuff with uh, copyrighted music you will get a copyright strike and then your channel can get taken down there is some fun happening on the outside hey we have a new member in our team um i have uh, actually this is my last paper uh, last piece of paper i usually i draw on this side because i do some watercolor on top and then the texture is kind of helping with watercolor but this time i think i'm just using it for the sake of uh, having a bigger piece of paper. Yep. And thanks, yeah. Welcome to the team. This paper is one of the most uh, textured papers I use, I think. <laughs> Do you use a hexagonal paper for a reason? Like to measure stuff or is it just the watercolor paper and you're trying to actually avoid it. I hope the texture is not too distracting. If it is, I can switch to the other camera. And I think it's less noticeable from, from the top angle. Hmm, let's 
kind of coming together slowly. I feel like we're getting there. I don't know. I really like the design process of, of drawing that you yourself can decide which elements to include and what do you want to have and where does it all come from. I don't know. I feel like this is maybe one of my favorite parts of the drawing process. That you can go wild and There are kind of no rules to follow. Kenson and my team case paper. One side is smooth, one side is textured with graphite. And the hexagon show more. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely true. With I saw a lot of your art on Instagram. You're doing this amazing like super precise copies of uh of, of art and like sculpture and drawings right so you do it seems like you do use a lot of graphite i think i mostly use well i use graphite for sketches but i mostly use uh ink pen after that so i guess i don't uh, get so much texture yeah no worries that's that's cool <laughs> I actually recently I bought um, quite a nice uh, sketchbook from uh, what was the name of the company it's talents i think it's called and it's like a sketchbook for i don't know if you can see the switch here this this is the name of the company i think and they have like they they have a lot of stuff but the sketchbook that i got is the um it's it's literally called sketchbook so it's basically paper for graphite and for ink and it turned out to be really good like it doesn't bleed through you can even use some water-based markers you can't really use alcohol markers if you want to use the second side of the page but yeah that one i can recommend i, I really enjoy drawing there before bed like it has hard cover Really good one. Yeah, let's just add some more textures, maybe something less along the lines of the shape. So like these this texture with diagonal patterns doesn't go along with the uh, with the shape of the cylinder so i kind of like that because it breaks um breaks the shape just a little bit to add some variation and visual interest here i don't know if you can hear them <laughs> it's <laughs> we already had that problem but let me know if they're too loud 
because I'm sitting in the headphones and I still can hear them. Don't know why they ring so early. It's not like if if you have to pray at 12, do you really have to know one hour beforehand that in an hour you will need to go to church? I don't know. Strange, strange. That's what I mean, like, you, you remember how before, uh, in the very beginning of the stream, I said that, like, I don't like how it turns out and that it's always the problem in, at the start. And if you keep pushing, you eventually get to the place where you can enjoy the results. And that's exactly what I mean, like before I was a little bit more, oops, sorry, a little more skeptical about this, this whole thing because, you know, it's all wobbly and the perspective is not really great and, I don't know, all the lines don't work together that well and, I don't know, it was kind of weird, but now when I'm adding this inclines it kind of starts to make a little bit more sense to me and this is what i really like about the drawing you just need to get through you know you just need to get through this annoying part and if you keep practicing you will start enjoying it. You know, when, whenever you're starting out, I think it you can also extrapolate this process of drawing one piece into just generally learning how to draw. Because when you're starting out, you usually don't like what you get. The, pro the progress is really slow and maybe your expectations are a little higher about your own skill and a bit lower about the amount of work you need to put in as we're all optimists you know so when you're starting out yeah of course it will suck and you will look at your art and get discouraged but Everybody does this. For some people it's easier, for some people it's harder, but all in all, like everybody goes through more or less the same process. And the only way to go through the process is to keep drawing, keep practicing, and eventually you will start liking what you're doing and it will encourage you to draw even more. And I think what what inspires me in this uh, approach is that basically the sooner you start suffering through this period where you will uh, where you will get discouraged, the quicker you like the sooner you start basically the sooner you will get through that period and get into the good part. So you know like it's. I think I used this analogy before, like it's kind of like standing in the line. You know you have your ticket already, you know that you will get there eventually. There is just two hours of standing in line that you have to endure. And if you keep standing, you will, you will get there. I mean, in the... <laughs> I guess it's a little bit weird because with drawing you you can't just stand you need to actually draw but you know what I mean I hope <laughs> and 
That came out of nowhere. That was a long rant about art. There are some panels here of some sorts. I don't know. Don't know much about spaceships. Although I, I was a big fan of science fiction when I was a kid. I was reading like book after book of all the, you know, these sci-fi authors like Isaac Asimov, Robert Sheckley, and anyway. Won't name them all, but you know, if you're into that stuff, you know that those names. Some some extremely good Russian science fiction authors as well. There were a lot of really good science fiction writers in Soviet Union. I mean, maybe not a lot, a lot, but if you really key figures that kind of change the the whole genre for Russian readers. And now just adding some dots there. Just because I think, I think we're getting close to our final form. How is it? How is it going on your side, guys? Any progress? Schmilicopter? Any? Any coffee mugs? Did the sketch turn into something? It inspired you. All right, now these little guys, I think they need to be even smaller. I hope you can still see them there. Let me move it a little bit. maybe to know <laughs> hmm. actually when uh, when when you say that I I completely agree and I was thinking about the November as you know like this there is this whoa Jesus Christ sorry sorry, sorry guys I was thinking about uh, November <laughs> that spooked it in me um, as a slow vember so you know like you do one big piece of art during during november so i thought maybe today if we do it together on streams maybe today it would be like thumbnails and exploration and next stream it could be like refining one of the sketches and then maybe doing some more exploration and stuff like that you know 
but I thought it might be boring to watch for to watch two hours of just thumbnails so I kind of decided against it this time but do let me know if, if that's something you would be interested in taking part of in not of I'm just kind of trying to separate some of the shapes from each other and in general just do the outline a little bit so the shape stands out from the picture from the paper a little better I never have a clear idea of what to draw before the stream and partially I really like it because it's kind of a surprise for me as well but partially I hate it because it stresses me so much because I'm thinking like okay it needs to be something so everybody can join and draw as well or at least it should be something that inspires inspires other people to draw and that's something super boring and like another house or whatnot so I don't know what what's gonna be next time but if you guys have any suggestions or ideas you're welcome to share them in the telegram channel that we have And on Twitch, we have a link to the Telegram channel in the under the video. And on YouTube, I put it in description as well. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not for the stream, but for like personal projects. Could be. Well, actually, it might be not a good idea for the stream in terms of me drawing or drawing that on the stream, but it might be a good idea for other people to do on the stream because then they can use this time when they're watching the stream and drawing to push their personal projects further, which I think is, is a good service for the stream, I mean, if that's the outcome, then the stream is doing a good job, that's what I mean. Just trying to define the shape a little bit better. Just adding some random shapes. Not sure if that was a good idea, but you know what? can't change it anyway shouldn't be afraid of making mistakes in art I feel like this should be the like in in other places maybe even though it's usually stopping you from growing but in art Nah, just 
just go with it mess up the whole thing it doesn't matter i've i always kind of tell myself if i can draw it until now that means i can draw it again so if i mess it up now and if i really want to have the whole thing as a perfect piece of art then i'll just draw it again and you know like you can use some techniques like tracing it on on a piece of glass or something you know just to be sure that everything is exactly the same and all that but most more times than not when you're messing up when you're afraid of messing up and then you still try it it doesn't look as bad as you think it it would or it might so there is a piece of wisdom <laughs> Yeah, I think we're actually getting closer to the end of the stream. Because I don't really know what else to do with this. Hey, Bridgen. Ah. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, that's yeah. With the time, it's it's always the problem because I I live in the Netherlands, so I like my time is Central European time, and it's like I'm thinking about actually maybe streaming more, and then I can do maybe one evening stream. So it's kind of morning in the United States, so people from there can actually join and participate <laughs> oh this is really sweet of you thank you i know that like it, it's not the same but the streams um i i record them so they're available on youtube later but it's it's obviously not the same as as watching and participating live but i'm glad you were able to join today and i hope you will have a good sleep after the stream soon actually kind of kind of done don't really know what else to do with this thing so it seems like today is a is a shorter stream but I will still put a hashtag peace cashbook stream And I encourage everyone else to also put the hashtag if you post it somewhere. Hey, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. With the line work, I kind of... Um, maybe the last three or four months, um, I started using the pen more. The, the brush tip pen or whatever it's called and i got this uh tomboy pen f from my girlfriend for my birthday i got a few of them but this is a really good one because it's it has kind of like a solid tip felt tip so you can you can do thick lines you can also do like very thin lines and because i have i don't know i think i have kind of a heavy arm when i'm drawing the this um solid tip 
it really helps me to like do really thin lines because the other one I have is also a tumble pen but it's a little bit um, softer nib it looks the same but you can see that it, it, it's much more vibrant and the thinner lines are kind of thicker when I use it at least so I would really recommend this this one for for line work I was afraid of using ink pen for a long time because it, it usually sucks when I use it anyway all right guys thank you everyone for joining I hope you enjoyed it we had a fun little challenge today picking a random object drawing it and then transforming it transforming it into a vehicle of some sorts inspired by space goose on Instagram all right with that I hope you all had a good time I hope you're having a good time planned for yourself today maybe some sleep finally <laughs> and thank you all for watching have a good day have a good week and i hope i see you all next week same time same place bye bye everybody <laughs>